Hi everyone. <clears throat> Let's analyze uh, Jamna Auto, an auto ancillary company. They make uh, automotive automotive suspensions involved in selling of tapered leaf, parabolic spring, and life axles. So, what do we have here? Let's quickly look at the monthly chart. Did this stock did very well? Most auto anks did very well between fourteen and eighteen. And then you had the basically the cycle turned. 17, 18, you know, uh, sales reached a point beyond which growth was not, uh, just not possible. And uh, that's one of the reasons why, you know, so on the sales front as well as the profits front, you will see that most auto, auto and stocks have sort of dropped. So this had a drop of around 70, 80%, which is pretty normal for a, for a small cap company. If you don't sort of capitalize on the gains, you will see most of your gains being eroded. Unless you have a very long term view. So assuming you bought it in 12, you want to keep it for 20 years or so, then you could probably make some money. But assuming that you bought it in 12 and you did not capitalize on your gains, you know, last year you were left with only 30% returns. And it's 2021 now, so it's eight years, and you've made 400% in eight years. You've made around 50% year on year. So that those that's great returns, provided you had the ability to not book here, not get <laughs> worked up, and exit here. So yeah, so investing is not easy. It's it's a very difficult thing to do, and uh, you know. In hindsight, it's very easy to talk about these things, but to actually execute uh, these things is difficult. We are going to understand the technical aspect of it from a short term view. Uh, yeah. So what happened? Like most stocks, the stock uh, bottomed out up to 150 percent. There wasn't any meaningful base, you know, that we can consider this as a base. So basically, you know, it sort of based out in this year to year, it broke out and then it's basing out again. So, so, you know, this is a very tight base, you know, over here, if you see, it's a very tight base, 70, 18%. And the, Best thing is that the down days are on extremely low volume, up days are on high volume. So this has got me interested because now this is broken out. Exceptionally high volume on a weekly basis. And uh, what do I want to do with it? I'm, I'm hoping that if it, uh, if it corrects a little bit, and that is when I will make an entry. So uh, what is going to be my entry point? That depends on how this sort of plays out in the next week or so, you know, what sort of correction happens in this, if it sort of comes till here, starts consolidating, then I will try to take a trade. Uh, so based upon that, let's, I'm, I'm guessing that it might sort of, you know, come till here or here. My guess is that because, you know, for the, it has gone up very quickly, so it needs some sort of consolidation. So if it, it sort of comes down a bit over here and starts consolidating in this area, so I'll start buying the stock. What is going to be my stop loss? So my stop loss is going to be around 12-13%. And if the stock starts uh, trading below the 50 with very high volume on a weekly, two weekly basis, I will be out. However, this whole breakout is look looks technically looks extremely strong. So so i'll i'll be waiting for an entry point once this corrects a little bit uh it it can also happen that this can just continuously keep going up so well in with that respect we'll have to just leave it and wait for another consolidation uh not going to change the stock it's pretty far away from 50 day and 200 day as well so it's, it's around 14 15 percent away so not going to chase it let's quickly see the fundamentals company doesn't have any specific moat as such they make uh, springs and uh, suspension so 
it's not it, 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 they don't have any monopoly as such there is no specific technical know how to make all of this but this it says here they have a 66% market share so that could be good for them so let's see let's see what the numbers say 34% of the shares are out in the market uh and uh, what else they've trimmed down their borrowings in september so that looks good okay from a profit and loss perspective honestly there's not much the profits have actually sales have actually gone down by more than 50 60% and they are back to the 2013 14 level you know so if you notice that in 2012 also they were doing 1100 crores so the past 10 years of they've done what 6% of sales growth which is not that great you know however what they've managed to do is they've managed to increase their profit margins somehow that is sort of that is good so i can't really make out anything from from the sales and profit because it's just all over the place you know margins are all over the place so technically i'm not very confident about this stock uh, sorry fundamentally technically i will trade it you know if if uh, most auto if if since you've noticed i posted a couple of videos of auto i stack so some of them are setting up very well so this might just you know sort of go with the current with the tide five six stocks are breaking out this might also just pop so yeah we can look at it depends you know if i have better trades i might not buy this so let's see let's see i i i would be more keen if it sort of consolidates in this area and 200 day catches up then i have a low low sort of a risk entry that is when i'll be more keen because the fundamentals are not that great hence i'll look for a low risk entry in this stock thanks a lot guys